And what what you told me like till now is is, is mainly about uh, qualitative research. What about taking the data and, and looking at the quantitative information? So I would call it experience data. There's a lot you can learn if you measure the experience. Um, in the research world, in the user experience world, there's a lot of confusion into what is an experience measurement or experience metrics. Uh, so I'll say a word about what it is and what it isn't and, and what at least what sure. I refer to. So sure. anything you measure during user qualitative user research, I put it aside. That's not what I mean. What I mean is everything you measure once the product is out. Okay. Uh, and then I, I want to kind of, I'm going to start very, very high level. I would say there are five things, um, five kind of areas where uh, I, I'm looking at. One is what happens in people's minds. Are they happy with, with the product or whatever it is? Um, two, are they deeply involved in it? Or that's kind of a, uh, all the rest are related to usage, not what, what happens in their mind. Deeply involved is engagement. Are they just trying out or using um, obvious and superficial features of the thing, or are they deeply involved? And as a as a you know as a product development team, you know what deeply involved means. Yeah. So look it's, for the it's like more like engagement. What you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was trying to avoid the word because it means so many things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then um, everything related to new. So new features and how fast they're adopted or new users and how much growth you have. I would look at that. Um, and then probably the most important area is are you able to keep your users? Yeah. So re retain them. Uh, yeah. are, they, are they coming back? And yeah. then uh, lastly, once they're using the thing, are they successful? Can they do what they want to do? All of that can tr translate, can be translated to dozens, if not hundreds of different metrics. And obviously we don't have time to talk about all of that, but yeah. generally speaking, these are the five categories. If they sound familiar, it's not, uh, it's not by coincidence. I based that on the, the Google Heart framework. Um, mm -hmm. for uh, deciding what to measure. So HEART stands for uh, happiness, engagement, adoption, retention, and task success. So mm -hmm. these are kind of the, the five areas where if you measure the experience under these five areas, then you're, you're gonna get a pretty good picture about whether the experience is good, bad, what the trend is, um, surprises. Mm -hmm. So you think everything's great and then it's dropping. Uh, and so on, or success sure. of something you launched. So let's say you, for whatever reason, you redesigned something. So you 